150 miles from London, a mere three hours in the express train, lies the city in which I have lived for over 73 years. I can remember in my boyhood the population was about 50,000. Today, a quarter of a million citizens throng its busy streets. In the centre of the city is the old castle, occupying an original Roman site of 20 centuries ago. In 1904, in an ideal position in the centre of Cadiz Park, the corporation erected probably one of the finest groups of civic buildings in the world. Here is the City Hall and National Museum of Wales, which, inside and outside, are both cheerful and light. This fine avenue, too, is but one of many in the heart of Cardiff. From the air, one can observe the wonderful layout of the city. Nearly a thousand students center their learning in the University College here, part of which was opened by His Majesty King George V. Like other towns in our country, Cardiff youth volunteered for service in the Great War, and this noble memorial commemorates their sacrifice. Less than two miles from the civic center is Roth Park. This lighthouse is really a memorial to the late Captain Scott, the immortal explorer. The Cathedral of Landeth here has a history reaching far back into those shadowy days when Christianity was first preached in Britain. Close by is the ancient Landeth Cross. Cardiff's rapid growth has largely been due to its extensive dock system. Looking at this picture, you would hardly imagine that two centuries ago, Cardiff possessed no docks at all, and only 11 vessels handling about 200 tons a year. Just think of it. Today, the docks have grown until they compare most favorably with any in Britain, and built with British labor, British material, the best in the world. Glancing at these enormous sidings were their capacity for 10,000 wagons at a time, you would hardly believe that two centuries ago, coal was being imported into Cardiff. Today, it is the largest coal exporting center in the world. And now I've introduced Cardiff to you. I sincerely trust you will understand my warm feeling for our great city of the West.